Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rich Review, the greatest supercar channel on the internet. And today you join us back at Toddington Railway Station for 2022 Broadway Supercar Show. now we're just leaving Toddington railway station a great turnout we'll go around a few of the cars a few of the high-end cars when we get into Broadway but we've got a hell of a drive into Broadway for you guys in front of us rather unfortunate number plate I can't see anything but knob on that number plate <laughs> if you can't see the number plate by the way it says FP20 KMB so no disrespect to the to the Lamborghini owner who um, who may be watching the video just the just the number plate I can't I can't see anything but knob <laughs> Mind you, most people who see my number plate think it means rich bastard anyway, which of course I'm clearly not. It's just my name. Well, your, your name's Rich Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and my name's not Rich Bastard, no. Great GT3 behind us in, I think it's Crayon. This is about the right size coffee cup for the coffee cup holders in the 458s. Anything taller than this, and you're boned. We're just driving through the village before we get onto the main roads to move into Broadway or to move towards Broadway. Beautiful little village area here. Beautiful tennis court sections. Marquis on the right hand side, so there's some sort of event going on. Love these villages in the Cotswolds.
uh, pulled in there just to let a few cars go past so we give you a different perspective in the queue we're just pulling into the top end of Broadway we've done this before when we've come in with Ferrari Owners Club on their breakfast meets we're just pulling in to queue up and then we'll be driving into Broadway in procession so we're just at the top of Broadway now, we're all parked up, ready to do a procession drive down into Broadway. You'll have seen this sort of scene before when we're here with the Ferrari Owners Club for the breakfast meet. As you can see, we've got a very eclectic range of cars. We've got a couple of R8 V10 Spiders. We've got a Lamborghini Espada, which a lot of you, if you've watched Harry Metcalf's channel, you'll recognise those. First edition Hurricane on the left, Aventador on the left. That was on your bedroom. And a Testrosso on the right hand side, Rosso Corsa. Beautiful yeah, Rosso Corsa. Oh, yeah. The more aggressive. This is a 512 TR, so this is one of the later derivatives. Here we've got a Lamborghini Countach. In almost, I think they call this like ice white. White interior. Incredible. Just look at that, that's how it used to be, guys. Manual gearbox. About as classic a supercar as you can get, just look at that. That says it all. The poster picture for most of our childhoods, eh? 650S on the right-hand side here. Speciali on the left-hand side, my favorite car, most of you will know. This is a car I really hope that I can move towards. It's not, I don't think this is Rosso Corsa. It might be Rosso Corsa, it just looks like it's um, a little bit lighter in the sunlight. And on the right-hand side, Cayman GT4. GT3 RS. That's the Marta Zagato on the right hand side. This is probably the most valuable car that's in here in this procession today. Very rare car. And here, right at towards the end, we've got another. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Here we've got one of our colleagues from 458 Group, 458 Italia. And then here we have an XJ220. Very rare car. I believe this is the car we saw last year at the Broadway car show. So we're just driving down now into Broadway from the top end of, of, the, um, of, the, of the town, of the village. We have our friends there from 458 Group. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be driving down into, into Broadway. Then we're going to be turning around, coming all the way back, back up again. And then we're going to be doing another procession drive down and then getting parked up. just driving down into the main village now there's always a really good turnout with spectators for this event it's always pretty cool one of the best Cotswold village well, it's one of the best Cotswolds one of the best car shows in the area Through the, we've gone through the village, we've turned around and we're coming back through again and we'll be driving back up to the top, parking up and then they'll be setting off, setting us off in around groups of three to go down into the village and to park up. 
We're just driving down now for our last procession into Broadway and then we're going to get parked up. Just pulling in to park up now. So we're just going to park up to the Lamborghini Aventador. At the same So here at Broadway, we've got incredible weather. It's 33 degrees today, incredible sunshine. So we're gonna walk around, we're gonna show you some of the main cars that are here today. So if we just take a quick walk, walk around this main area, this is called the green area. If we start with my car, first of all, we've got my 458 Spider here on the right hand side. The reason I mentioned my first, my the reason I mentioned straight away from where my car is parked, because to the left of it, we've got an Aventador, a Lam Lamborghini Aventador. So this is an Aventador SVJ, this is in matte black, so this is original paintwork, it's not a wrap. Then in fact it's a bright orange interior. If you look it's got the, the SVJ lettering on the side of the seats which is pretty cool. Carbon fibre inlays in the, in the centre console, matte carbon or forged carbon as you often say on the wing mirrors. As we move further around we pick up here the 458 Speciale that we were talking about earlier. So even though this looks like Dino, it's Rosso Corsa, it looks brighter than Rosso Corsa. It's got the silver stripe down the centre. Beautiful specification, Alcantara, hell of a lot of Alcantara in Syria. With regards to the engine bays, you can see here you've got carbon fibre down the side panels and the standard carbon fibre inlays and carbon fibre airbox and plenums. If we move across to the other side here, let's pick up on this test roster that was a late arrival. Now this isn't the 512TR that we were talking about earlier, this is a straight early test roster. Now in my opinion, this is, the, this is the preferential model. Beautiful crema interior, Rosso Corsa paintwork on the outside. This is in extremely high condition, this is extremely good condition. Black seals or black rockers as they would call them in America. Beautiful specification. We come around to the engine bay, the engine bay's clearly been detailed. Immaculate condition. To the left of the of the Testarossa, we've got a Senna, a Senna in metallic blue. Look at this incredible triple layer paintwork. We've got forged carbon, blue forged carbon on the wing mirrors. This is an incredible specification. Look on the inside, you've got blue leather interior, blue carbon interior. Fantastic interior. Beautiful specification. If you look towards the back, you can see where the forged carbon really works well on the fins and again in blue. And the whole wing, blue forged carbon. Beautiful specification. This is one of the high specification Senna that I've ever seen. And gloss black wheels. Stunning car. Just the perfect the perfect relationship of carbon fibre, blue carbon fibre as well in, on the interior with Alcantara on the dash, on the top of the dash, on, on top sections of the dash. Okay, so here to the left hand side, we picked up this car earlier when we were doing the procession drive down into Broadway. So this is the ice white Countach. It's got the single pentagraph wiper and an ice white interior as well. So it's got an ice white exterior and an ice white interior. You can see the only fortunate, unfortunate negative of having this sort of interior is the, it picks up the dirt very easily, as you can see on the seats. 
but beautiful interior. Beautiful Cantash. Here we've got the Aston Martin Zagata just pulling in. So it's obviously been out somewhere and it's coming back in to go back on display. The whole roof is carbon fibre, including the rear wing section or the rear aerofoil section. This car is very limited delivery, very, very limited in its production. So just quickly as we move along to the side strip here, we've got an Aston Martin Le Mans car. We've got an Aston Martin F1. These are all Vantages, by the way, these first two. And then we've got a DBS here in, looks like jade green, metallic jade green. Coming up here, we've already done some content on this already, so we won't talk too much about it, but this is the XJ220, known famous because they put a V6 engine in where it was designed, or where it was specified initially to have a V12. That was the biggest letdown about the XJ220. Unfortunate, but there you go. But this is very sought after now and this still hasn't met its main price. So this is, this is set to rise a hell of a lot in the future. So this is a car to buy at the moment, the XJ220. So here we have a GT3 Touring. A lot, of, a lot of the viewers of our channel will know that I'm enamored with the GT3 Touring. I really love the GT3 Touring. I prefer this to the GT3 with the wing. I just think this goes under the radar and this is a great daily driver. And then here, viewers of, again of my channel will know, oh my effing God the Mura. This is my favorite car in the whole world. This is the most beautiful designed car ever made. V12 transverse. The V12 engine was, put, was designed transversely on the basis of the Mini, the Austin Mini, would you believe it? Because the Austin Mini was the first car to have a transverse engine built in. And this is the only way they could fit the V12 in and have the design of the car as it is. Beautiful. And this is the perfect color. So this light lime green. Single spin knockoff wheels, black interior, just gorgeous, absolutely stunning. All its sins can be forgiven, sins such as when you drive over a circa 100, 120 miles an hour, the front starts to lift up because it acts as an aerofoil, so it starts to try and take off. But all those sins can be forgiven because of the look of it. I mean, just look at the design of that car, guys. Absolutely stunning. In my opinion, the most beautifully designed car ever made. So we're on the right hand side now of the retail outlet section within Broadway. So we're just going to quickly walk down these cars. We've got a, an Audi R8 here, Spider. And here on left hand side, of course, you recognize this car, the 458 Italia with a Sabia interior. Coming further down, we've got the GT4 Cayman. And right hand side here, we've got the 512 TR. So Testarossa 512 TR. And here on the right hand side, we've got a a hurricane spider so we filmed this car last year so we won't spend too much time on this but this is a metallic verde mantis on the exterior with black near interior with green stitching to match the verde mantis exterior and of course you've got a lime green verde mantis tie up to tie in with the bodywork calipers right just coming along towards the back end so this is the hotel parking area this is one of the smaller parking areas at broadway as you see here we've got a lotus and here we've got a we've got a porsche gt3 rs in this lime green livery call out to rs15 ace instagram beautiful design carbon fiber rear wing i mean this is about the perfect spec for a gt3 rs you can't get any better than that that is it with regards to porsche gt3 rs that is the specification stunning and then behind the gt3 rs we have a lamborghini lamborghini aventador sv metallic blue black interior very interesting yellow piping very thick yellow piping around the seats with yellow stitching as well not so sure i'd gone with that yellow piping when i spec'd it but each to their own the one annoying thing about the svs and the svjs is they have these stickers which that is, is on top of the paintwork which is which is optional but i'm not too sure i would choose that and the carbon fiber rear slant section on the engine cover Cool number plate as well, nine rad. So I presume that means radical. And just to the right hand side of the SV, we have a 570 a McLaren 570 Spider. So this is a very interesting specification. This is metallic blue with a tan interior. 
very rarely you see them in this specification for some reason you've got matte black wheels as well and you've got with regards to the seats you've got a center section the thin wide and then going into a thin section of a matte black lever as well very cool specification an alcantara along the rear section and an alcantara dash black alcantara dash with grey stitching so clearly trying to avoid any reflections in the windscreen cool number plate as well mc57 spy So we're going to end it here now from the main green section at the Broadway Car Show. Tomorrow they've got the classic car show which runs from 1970s earliest cars. So today we've got 1970s onwards. Tomorrow is a classic event for previous to 1970 or 1970 to earlier cars. We're not covering off tomorrow because we're at another event tomorrow. So we're going to close out today from the Broadway Car Show from the supercar event. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Really important for us. So if you're considering it, please do think about subscribing. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Click a like if you like this video and we'll see you in the next one.